Hello and welcome to Ionic Apps for WooCommerce. In this video, we are going to create our first Ionic application. So I have created this folder inside my C drive called Projects and we will create our Ionic application inside this Projects folder. We will use this Projects folder throughout the course. So now that we have installed Ionic in Cordova, we can use Ionic commands in our Git bash or in our command prompt. So let's just do that. So here we have our git bash. You can use the command prompt and you can see that I am inside the projects folder in my C drive. Since we have installed Ionic in Cordova, we can now use Ionic commands to create Ionic applications. Let's see how to do that. All you have to do is type in Ionic start and then the name of the application that you want to create. Since this is our first app, let's just name the app first app and then you can optionally provide the name of a template that you want to use. We will talk about templates later in this lecture but for now let's just use the blank template. This will help us create a pretty much blank application with the name first app. Hit enter and as this finishes you'll notice that a new folder called first app will be created inside the projects folder. This might take a while depending upon the speed of your internet connection. And once this is done, we will run the application in the browser. We will also see how we can run this application in an Android emulator. Okay, so our first app folder has been created. Okay, so the creation of our Ionic application has completed successfully. Now let's try and run this app in our browser. All we have to do is change the current directory to our project directory, which is first app. And now we can type in Ionic Serve. This will open the app in your browser. And you can see that the app is opened in the browser. Okay, this is a pretty much blank application. It just has a header on the top that says Ionic Blank Starter. But this does not actually feel like a mobile application. So how do we run this inside a browser and make sure that it feels like a mobile application? So what we can do, we can press Ctrl C to stop the server and now we can type in Ionic Serve but this time we will use a flag called dash dash L. This will enable the lab mode. The lab mode allows you to view your application as it would look like on an Android and iOS device. This is a really cool way to test your applications. On the left, you see an iOS emulator and on the right, you see an Android emulator. These two emulators have their own limitations that we'll discuss later in the course. But for basic debugging and testing your application, this is fine. And for the most part of this course, we'll be using this way of debugging our applications. So now you know how to create basic Ionic applications. But what about the templates? Now if you go to Ionic documentation, you'll see that Ionic supports three types of templates. The first one is the tabs which is the default template that is used when no template is specified while creating a new application. There is a side menu template that we'll be using to create our WooCommerce application. And then there is a blank template that we have just used. Now let's create another application with the side menu template and see what's the difference. So I'll just get out of this directory and I'll type in Ionic start since this is our second app, I'll type in second app and this time I'll use the side menu template. Hit enter and this time Ionic will create another folder in my projects folder and will create an app based on side menu template. Okay, so a new folder has been created. We will have a look at the contents of the folder in the next lecture. It's done. Now let's just change the current directory to our application directory. And let's just real quick type in Ionic serve dash dash L. And this will launch our application in the browser in the lab mode. And we have a basic Ionic application already set up for us. And this application has a side menu that we can open by dragging this menu like this. And it has something already created for us like the search page, the browse page, playlist, we can click on any of the playlist and the playlist page will open. 
So this is the basic structure that is already created for us. We need to modify this structure according to our own needs. This is how we create applications based on templates. Let's see how we can deploy these applications to emulators and mobile devices. So I'll just press Ctrl C and stop the server. Now if you want to deploy this application on an emulator, you will have to build this application for a particular platform first. So if you want to build this application for Android, you'll have to download and set up Android SDK from developer.android.com slash SDK. Go ahead and click the green download button that will download the whole Android Studio and will set up the Android SDK for you. If you want to develop applications for iOS, go ahead to developer.apple.com slash iOS and then you can download the iOS SDK and set it up on your Mac. Once you're done with that, all you have to do is type in Ionic Platform Add since I want to add the platform Android because I want to build this application for Android, I'll just add Android and hit enter. This will add all the required files that we need to create an application for Android. Since this is also a network operation, this requires internet and the time taken to complete this operation depends upon the speed of your internet connection. Okay, it's done. Now all you need to do is type in ionic run android. If you have an emulator up and running, the application will be run in your emulator. If you do not, the emulator will be launched and your application will be installed on the emulator. But if you want to deploy this application on your own mobile phone, you have to connect the mobile phone right now via the USB cable and enable USB debugging mode on your android phone. Type in ionic run android and hit enter and your application will be launched on your mobile phone or on your emulator. Since I do not have an Android phone connected right now, it will be launched on the emulator. Let's wait for this to complete and once it completes, the application will be launched on the emulator. As you can notice, we also get a message no target specified deploying to emulator. Since it cannot find any Android phones connected, it is deploying the application to the emulator. Okay, so the application has been built successfully. Now it's deploying the application on the emulator. So I have my emulator on the left and the console on the right. And it says that the installation is successful and now it's launching the application. And you can see on the left that the application is being launched. And there we go. So now we have the same application running inside an emulator that we had in the browser. So this is how you deploy your applications on your emulator and on your Android devices. In the next video, we will examine the folder structure that we get when we create a new Ionic application.